impressive coastline with unspoilt nature and clear blue seas, Maliha is surrounded by a fascinating landscape. As the village lies on a hill, visitors can enjoy the stunning view right from the city centre. You've got beautiful views, you've got um, the cliffs, and um, where we're actually staying, we've got a spectacular view over the whole bay. And also it's culture, you've got history, you've got a bit of everything really, so I'm very impressed. Maliha's most famous landmark is the Sanctuary of Our Lady. It is one of the most important pilgrimage churches in Europe. A highlight is the painting of the Virgin Mary, which dates back to the 13th century. Experienced guides tell visitors about the history of the sanctuary. Fortifications like the Red Tower are very typical for the region. The Maltese Knights, who governed Malta for 250 years, established them to protect the bay from invaders. In the past, Malta was governed by many nations, like the Arabians. They gave Maliha its name, salt and honey. The delicious thyme honey is still being made in the region, and tourists can learn about its production. Learning about traditional products is also the objective of the agritourism project in Manikata. Local farmers show visitors how they grow the local wine. organic farming, Wine, lemon jam and pickled onions. Visitors get the chance to taste the delicious organic products and to experience the hospitality of the local people. Delicious food, relaxing leisure activities and a stunning landscape. Maliha is a perfect holiday destination all year round. <laughs>